Guys, we're going to be smoking a beautiful, lovely, tasty, plump, juicy turkey breast today. We're going to do it on our Wood Fire XL, but this can be done on whatever Wood Fire you have, okay? Guys, this is such a simple thing to do, but it's easy to mess up, all right? Because you're not cooking to internal temperatures. That's why you got a dry breast. We don't want that. So I'm going to tell you what to do, how to get there, and you're going to be wonderful, okay? First thing we got to do is get this breast out of the package. All right, now this one is a full breast off of a turkey. Probably a little smaller turkey. This one is only, it looks like it's about six, seven pounds, not very big. And then uh, it has the full backbone on there, full back, back, full back in there. Not necessarily just the backbone, but the full back. All right, so what we're gonna do is take, take a knife, a real sharp knife, slice along the sides of the back, right? And then we're gonna take some kitchen shears and just uh, cut off them rib bones. And then, you know, you may have to kind of finagle it and move it around a little bit, use your knife, cut along the joints of the backbone and the breast bones, but you'll just f search your way through it. Be careful, obviously using a knife, but you'll find your way through it. So cut that backbone off. If your turkey breast has a back, on there and then we're going to give it a slit down that breast bone on the inside and kind of press it a little flat it's basically treating like we're spatchcocking it it's not necessarily that i'm worried about the height but i like it a little bit flatter so it cooks a little evener more even even or you know what i get <laughs> even right? we want it cooked all the way through all right so next thing we gotta do is flavor this bad boy now i'm a big lover of that tony saturies the tony c's injectable butter i use that stuff pretty liberally in there so you take the syringe try to find one or two points of entry as i you know use that syringe and then just move the syringe back and forth in there and then press a little as i go maybe back it out a little bit press a little bit more on the plunger back it out a little bit press a little bit more so you're spreading that that creole butter all the way through that turkey breast now the other thing i do is start separating the skin from the the breast meat and then i'll pour some of that tony saturies in there too so you're coating the outside you're getting the inside i'll pour it over the skin too and that's just gonna you know impart flavor help cook that skin a little bit i am not using this for anything other than like sandwich meat all right on this breast so i'm not so worried about the presentation of the skin or anything like that obviously we're going to cook it we'll use it we'll eat it it's going to be great but i'm going to be slicing this breast for like sandwiches okay and that's you know a lot of reason why i do this so um i want to make sure we got max flavor on that meat okay on that you know that breast meat and we're gonna get it nice and juicy okay and then of course you dust the outside of the bird with your seasoning and then since we're going off that creole theme agent theme whatever i got some of my guy uncle steve's texas cajun and use that we'll put a little in between the skin and the the breast meat too and then we'll cover the outside with it you know undercarriage the whole bit cover the skin with it it's gonna look great you're gonna dig it tons and tons of flavor when you're doing this i i suggest you use that injectable butter but you can use whatever kind of barbecue rub you enjoy if you want a more uh, traditional salt pepper garlic whatever that's fine but you know i like a little flavor on it especially since we're like i said it's gonna be used for sandwiches turkey breast isn't terribly flavorful anyway so you want to part as much flavor as possible last thing we're gonna get our twin tin spikes in there so we can monitor both breasts and make sure they're they're cooking evenly not gonna dry out we're going to cook these breasts to about 155 okay now i know fda guidelines say 165 but what we're gonna do is once we hit that 155 we're gonna wrap it in tin foil and let it rest we're gonna let it rest with a little bit of butter in there too and just let all the juices kind of chill out in there get running back through the breast if you try to cut it right off when you pull it out every bit of the juice will run out and you will have some dry ass turkey so we're gonna let it we're gonna wrap it up i'm actually gonna wrap it upside down so the breast is you know on the bottom of the wrap wrap it up tight let it rest for about a half hour let that butter absorb let all the juices absorb this is the way we're gonna have a nice juicy turkey breast hope you're with me thus far had to go through some stuff but turkey breast is easy to mess up and you want to look like a hero at thanksgiving right or well any time of the year when you're making turkey Okay, it doesn't have to be just for Thanksgiving. And I'm giving you the tools to get there, all right? Let's go ahead and get this uh, wood fire fired up. I'm gonna use uh, Jack's pellets. It's a competition blend. Um, I already got some pellets in there. Smoker setting, 375, okay? We're going hot and fast with this bad boy. You do not have to go low and slow on turkey or poultry. Hot and fast is where it's at for me, and that's the way I like to do it. And again, we'll have those temp spikes in there and monitoring it. All right, guys, I hope you're ready. We're ready to go, right? All right, hit that thumbs up when you're ready. <laughs> Let's get this thing fired up. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Thanksgiving. 
How you doing? Use our mode to go to smoker. I'm gonna take it to 375. There we go. I have two hours defaulted there. We'll leave it. It's not gonna take more than two hours. That's why we're cooking in turn temperatures. I'll say how long it took at the end so we know, but two hours is fine. Got the wood fire flavor already set up because it's on the smoker setting. Hit start, let it go through the ignition process. Smoke is rolling. And get this breast on. Nothing left to do, just give it smoke, let it take some time, good to go. Guys, we're about a half hour in. I went ahead and came out, checked on it. I grabbed a little bit more of that Tony's. I just poured a little over the top. We still got plenty of time in the cook. They're temping out about 80 degrees in the breast right now. A little bit more, a little bit less than one side or the other. So we're just giving this little brush on to help keeping it moist on the outside and just still imparting flavor. Okay, so this is all about getting flavors going. It's like basting your turkey in the oven, no big deal. The rub had already cooked onto the skin, so I wasn't too worried about brushing that rub off. But now we're just adding a little bit more flavor in there. And when we wrap this up to let it rest, we'll put a little bit more of that Tony Satchery's butter in there, right? And just get it moist, keep it moist. Moist, <laughs> I hate that word. All right, y'all, we're an hour in, tipping out at 155. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this bad boy off. I showed you the burn. It's uh, temping out at 155 right now. Now we're gonna wrap it up with some of that, a little bit more of that Tony Satchery's and some foil. Let it rest for 30 minutes, chill out. Let all those juices kind of reabsorb in there. Everything calm down a little bit. Then we'll slice into it, okay? So let's get it wrapped up. Get our bad boy bird off of here. And I know people are gonna say, you know, you're gonna make the skin wet or moist or whatever you wanna call it. I'm okay with that. Like, I, I'm seriously, I want the juicy breast meat. I'm not necessarily worried about the skin itself and having crispy skin or anything like that. If you were that worried about it, then keep it right side up, then lightly foil the top if you want. But I wanna get this, I wanna keep it moist in the breast. Like I said, we're using this for sandwich meat. I'm not worried about the skin at all. Okay, so let's get this wrapped up and we'll let it rest. And I'll see you in 30 minutes. It's been 30 minutes. I can't wait any longer, but I tell you what, if you let this go for an hour, even maybe an hour and a half, you'd be fine, okay? I wanna start chopping in this thing. Um, I got my cutting board out here with the grooves around it because I know the juice is gonna be loose. My Thermapro twin temp spikes kept the temps going. I left them in there while I was resting and you can see that it came up to temperature. We got 165 and 167 in there. Perfect, all right? Just like, I preach it in all my videos. Cook to internal temperatures. That said, this took about an hour to cook at 375, give or take. I let it rest for a half hour. So all told, you'll probably, you can do all this within a couple hours. That's prep, that's cooked, that's rest, okay? So if you're looking seven, six, seven, eight pound turkey breast, right, bone in, about two hours. So if you're working that plan, that's what you gotta do, all right? Let's go ahead and get this unwrapped and let's chop into it. What do you say? Let's go. Guys, by the way, this smells outstanding right now. I, getting it, getting it, baby, getting it. Let's go. Let's get this unwrapped. I got one glove that's lined up right here. So it's gonna handle the heat of everything. This other glove is just to kind of keep it clean. You can see the juices chilling in there, that, that butter. Oh yeah, looking good guys, looking good. Let's get this out on the cutting board. Look at it running off, baby, running off. Let's keep those juices contained over there. Take our temp spikes out. I'm gonna go ahead and take the skin off. Look at that beautiful color in there. Plenty of seasoning, I love it. Got flavor galore. And you know what I like to do is we'll dry that out and eat it, but you got all that flavor on there. Go ahead and put it on the, put it on the freaking turkey. What do you say? So we got the backbone right here. I got a nice sharp doll strong knife and we'll just run down that bone, okay? So you got the backbone right here. Just run down it, okay? If you wanna use a bigger knife for this, you can, but for me, fillet knife in here works out perfect for me so 
It's the beautiful hunk of meat, just like your boy. Look at, look at that. Just juicy goodness. Mm. Oh yeah, we'll save the taste test for later. But I just snuck a taste. And it's delicious. Look how beautiful that came out. And you can tell how juicy it is. Like it's just dripping off my hand. There you go. And I'm not squeezing. That's just gravity taking effect right there. We got two beautiful breasts. Gorgeous. All right, let's get these sliced up and give them a try. Although, we already did try them. <laughs> uh, uh, look at that. That bite right there, full of flavor. <laughs> so another thing I want to show you is the green of the meat is going this way. So we're going to slice it back this way. So it's just like the principle of any other you know, carving the meat, you want to go against the grain for the most tender of the bites. All right, so we're going to give some good slices right there against the grain, like we said. Now I'm doing pretty thick slices right here, just uh, just kind of for the pitcher. But that other one, I'm going to slice up pretty thin for sandwiches. And then obviously this one will be chunked up for sandwiches too. Just have some thicker slices to it. Some gorgeous color there, guys. Beautiful, juicy. Look at the, the juice trough on the cutting board. Mm -mm -mm. All right, guys, I'm going to finish this up, and then we'll take a taste you test. You guys know I already took a small bite, you know. And when it's sitting there in that butter and the juices, you got to do it, even while you're cutting. Got a snack, but I got a little piece right here. All right, it's phenomenal, all right? There's no better way to do it. And you know it's it's natural. It's not some pressed crap you're going to get in the grocery store in the deli, right? This is some straight-up good fresh smoked turkey breast uh, you controlled the seasoning you controlled the flavor you got that good smoke in there got a little bit of spice a little creole kick a little cajun vibe from the seasonings and the butter we used but guys you can use regular butter you can use herbs you can use salt pepper and garlic if you want use whatever you want okay just cook to the parameters that i show you guys and you'll have juicy turkey breasts every time people overthink cooking and you don't need to you know the basics and the nuances and all that stuff you guys are gonna have a killer turkey once it hits that 155 and that thickest part of the breast you're golden right pull it out wrap it tint it whatever you want to do let it rest those temperatures will come up okay that carryover heat is a real thing and then it lets all those juices chill out redistribute give you that nice juicy turkey breast okay so believe me now hear me later okay do it do it do it do it do it <laughs> guys if you want to get yourself one of these ninja xl pro connect wood fire grills i'll have a link down below if you want to get a regular wood fire grill there's links down below guys if you want to get my e-cookbooks for the wood fire grill they're all listed down below if you there's three of them you can get them separately or you can get a bundle of all three for 12 bucks it'll save you a few bucks there if you get all three guys it's not like i'm making a killing on that stuff but it does help out your boy hops off the channel so if you want to grab one i appreciate it if you'd like to get anything else i use in my videos from the knives cutting boards merch all that stuff Links are all down below. One last thing, if you'd like to become a show producer like all the awesome people scrolling in front of me right now, people that trust the process and have juicy, moist, plump turkey breasts every time, there are two ways for you to join. You can hit that Patreon link in the video description or you can hit that join button right next to the subscribe button, which you should have already hit by now. But other than that, guys, we're done. Listen, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week and a wonderful holiday when you're making these turkeys for uh, Thanksgiving. But that's it. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.